Welcome to the EC key instruction video for configuring an EK3 relay unit. For this demonstration, you will require an MK3 management toolkit, a computer running Microsoft Windows XP or Vista with an internet connection and access to your email. This is the MK3 management toolkit for the EK3. Inside, we have an EC key EK3 relay unit, USB programming cable, USB Bluetooth dongle, management software, power supply, screwdrivers and example buttons, sensors and lights. Take the CD and insert into your computer. The application will start the installation process and follow the wizards on the screen. The latest Windows service packs for these will be installed first and may require a connection to the Internet. Once the application has completed installation, start the management application by clicking on Start, Programs, EC Key, EC Key Management Application. Follow the instruction of the installation wizard to enter your details to register the application and wire up the EC Key EK3 unit. Once you have registered the application, you will receive an email with an activation link. You will need to click on this link to activate your registration. Once you have registered, follow the wizard to wire up your EC key EK3. Stop when you get to the Connect to EC key connection screen. We will now connect the wires to the EK3. On the top of the EC key unit is the blue status light and the red administration button. On the back are the screws to open it. Using the screwdriver, unscrew the screws on the back plate and open the EK3 unit. Inside, you will see the connections for ground, G, common, C, voltage, V+, normally closed, NC, normally open, NO, light, L, button, B, and door sensor, D. We will now connect the wires. Remember to keep the power supply unplugged during the wiring. Twist the power supply positive wire, either red or white, to one end of the white wire jumper together and plug into the V-plus terminal on the EK3 and screw the connection down. Connect the other end of the white wire jumper to the C terminal and screw the connection down. Twist the power supply negative black wire to black wire of the light. Plug into the G terminal of the EK3 and screw the connection down. Plug the red wire of the light into the NO terminal and screw the connection down. When finished, it should look like this. Turn the EK3 over and plug in the power supply. The blue administration light will flash four times on power up to confirm everything is operating and then flash once every five seconds after that. If this occurs, you have correctly provided power to the EC key unit. If not, check the wiring of the power supply. Plug the USB programming cable into the computer. Plug the other end into EC key with the cable running away from the EC key EK3. Drivers will be installed for the cable. Click on Refresh on the Connect to EC key connection screen to show the USB COM port listed in the connection options. Click Detect and the application will detect the presence of the EC key unit. Once detected, click Make Default and then Connect. If no EC key unit is detected, check that the EK3 has power and is plugged into the USB programming cable correctly. Once you have clicked Connect, you will see the configuration options for the EK3. Here you can change the name of the EK3 unit, range, pin, relay pulse lengths, etc. These changes can be saved to EK3 by clicking on Save, highlighting the EC key folder and clicking Save. All the settings will then be copied on the EK3. These settings can also be saved as templates in your own folders as well. We will now register a phone. 
we will demonstrate this with an iPhone. Videos of other handsets are available on the website. From the main menu, touch Settings. Then touch General. Touch Bluetooth. Slide the Bluetooth bar to On. The iPhone's Bluetooth is now on and discoverable. Move the phone within the pairing range of the EC key unit and wait for the phone to be prompted for the pin. The status light will flash blue quickly while EC key is registering a new phone. While the status light is flashing blue, take the phone and stand on the outside of the door with the door closed. EC key will calibrate the signal strength of this specific handset. Enter in the pin onto the phone. Now touch Connect. If the pin is correct, the status light on the EC key unit will remain lit for 5 seconds. Your iPhone has now successfully paired with an EC key unit. In the Management application, click on View Users and you will see the name of the phone you have just registered and the last time it connected. Click on the name of the phone and change it to something you will recognize and click Save to save the changes. Close the View Users window. We will now test the phone triggering the relay. Turn Bluetooth off on the phone or walk out of range and the red relay indicator will turn off showing the relay is not energized and the door is locked. Turn Bluetooth on on the phone or walk into range and the red relay indicator will turn on showing the relay is energized and the door is unlocked. You have successfully wired up EC key and registered a phone. To simplify the configuration, several templates are available for different applications. Click on Upgrade, check for Templates Updates, and the latest templates will be downloaded. Once downloaded, click on Open, System Templates, Select your application, for example, Door, Lock, Failsafe Electric Strike, click Open. All the settings for that application will be loaded. You can click on Installation Guide and the instructions on how to wire up an EK3 application will be shown. These settings can be saved into your own template or onto the EK3 unit itself. Congratulations, you have now turned your phone into a key and you are ready to install EK3 for a customer. Other features that are available include the ability to change the relay to create entry and exit pulses rather than toggle messages, configuring EK3 via Bluetooth rather than the programming cable, configuring EK3 via a phone rather than via the management application, Use a door sensor for auto-tuning the range. Tuning the range for specific devices. Manage hidden devices and discoverable devices. Require a pin to open. Delete all phones and factory reset. Range optimization techniques. Phone-specific Bluetooth instructions. For all this and more, see www.eckey.com for an online knowledge base and the ability to raise tickets directly with ECKey engineers.